we're on the path into Coen Snecton. And this little boulder in the path has a really nice dike cutting through the granite. And it's very interesting. So you can see that it's pretty much symmetrical uh, with a coarse grained bit of granite in the middle. So it's got quartz and feldspar, quite large crystals a few centimeters across. Then it's got very fine grain material where you really can't see the grains. And then on either side it's got these black needles which are generally pointing inwards. And then it's got fine grain material outside that. So this is a really nice little dike. This is the material is granite because it's crystallizing the same minerals as in the granite outside it. It must have come after this granite crystallized. But you've got two separate uh, crystallization process is happening. At the very outside you've got this very fine grain material which then eventually evolves into coarser grain crystals which are growing with their long axes pointing into the center on both sides. And then we have fine grain material then we have randomly oriented coarse grain material at the center. And that's two separate processes. So as the the vein was injected and cooled, what happened was it cooled very rapidly at the edges and made glass. It then crystallized inwards to make fine grain material and as it did that it, it exolved water so that the, the melt that was at the center of the vein at the end of it was very watery, so very low viscosity, so you could grow large crystals. So you get these large randomly oriented crystals growing from the very water-rich siliceous fluid at the end of crystallization. At the outside where the glass was Eventually, that, so that glass trapped all of the chemical components of the melt. Eventually, when it undercools, typically 50 to 150 degrees below the granite freezing point, then that glass recrystallizes and that pushes, it makes anhydrous minerals, it pushes the water again inwards from the cooling edges from the crystallizing front and makes the glass very water rich, which again increases the chemical transport. So you get uh, uh, increased grain growth as this glass then recrystallizes. And because the fronts are moving inwards in that case, the growing crystal fronts are moving inwards, all the crystals grow in into this water-rich, nutrient-rich region.